It is time for our first hacker battle. We are going to face off against Mutex. Uh, so the way that hacker battles work are they'll give some kind of an opposing competition between two hackers and uh, they'll repeat the competition a hundred times and calculate how many times you win versus how many times your opponent wins. And there might be various differences between the board for each of the competitions. The first one here is like an interesting concept. Unfortunately, Mutex is kind of dumb. He doesn't do a very good job uh, giving up much much of a fight. But basically, the way that the, the battle here is supposed to work is there are three channels on this TV station. There's channel 9, 28, and 67. And we have two movies, 210 and 211. Our opponent has two movies, 230 and 231. And then there's one neutral movie, 265. And we get points for every uh, cycle that a movie is playing on a channel. Well, our movie is playing on a channel, and our opponent gets points for each time their movie is playing on a channel. And if you have more than one movie trying to play on a channel at a time, then nothing gets sent out. So what you basically want to do is you want to put your films into channels, and you want your opponent's films out of the channels in order to make that all happen. So I broke that down into two functions, one that's in charge of putting my films into channels and one that's in charge of removing the opponents from the channels. Uh, A is the adder. A will is very dumb too. A goes across 800, grabs 210 and puts it in channel 9, comes back, grabs 211 and puts it in channel 28. That's it. B is a little more intelligent, and in all honesty, with how Mutex has coded his, uh, unnecessary with how with how much work B is doing. But I wanted to do it in case, you know. Uh, so after you beat Mutex, if you have any Steam friends, you can actually challenge another friend of yours to do this battle. You'd be able to click on this select opponent button, and if you had any friends on the game, you could choose to challenge their script. Uh, unfortunately, I have no friends. So... Mutex is very, very simple. Mutex, I think, only really has an adder. I think he goes and puts his things in a couple of the channels, and that's it. He's got no looping in his. Once he does his first like move, he doesn't do anything else. So what B basically is doing is he jumps in, and then he cycles between going to channel 9, 28, and 67, and he replicates a remover and then waits for the remover to finish. Because one thing to note about these battles is the storage limit. Uh, which limits how many execution agents you can have at once. So I can't just flood the board with execution agents. I can only have up to three. If I try to replicate when I already have three, it will wait until one of my execution agents is destroyed or uh, errors out before it will replicate anything. It'll sit there and it'll sit there and wait forever, potentially, and most likely while you're trying to figure this out. So B is going to go and he's going to go into channel nine. He's going to replicate a remover. What the remover basically tries to do is it will copy the, the values of the files that are not mine. So 230, 231 and 265. It will drop uh, a wiper. It'll create a wiper as well. So I've got B, who's basically the mastermind, which replicates and creates removers. And then the remover will create three uh, wipers, which will basically grab a f try and grab a file, and if they succeed, bring it back into the storage in the center here. So we'll look and see what A does first, just to focus. And we'll also take a look at what uh, what Mutex is doing. So A is going to jump in here and grab 210. Uh, it looks like Mutex drops one of his films in 28, and then drops the other one in 67, and then he's done. A has jumped over into channel 9 with my first film, and it's just going to drop it. And then A is going to grab 211, go in there, and drop it. So here is what's happening with B. So A is done. B has created a... Uh, B has created a remover. This is the remover, XB0. He's copied 230 into his X, and now he's going to spawn a wiper who's going to look for file 230, and if it succeeds, destroy it. But since it's not there, it's gone. So now he's going to replicate one that's going to try and grab 260, or one that's going to try and grab 231. That one fails because there is no 231. But this guy here is looking for 265. That's here. He's going to grab it. He's going to leave. And now that remover has finished trying all three files, he's going to signal over to XB saying, all right, I've, I'm done with my work you can now start creating another, you can make another remover. And the reason for that signaling is to prevent XB from dropping multiple removers. Because if XB created a second remover, 
uh, XB0 would be unable to create wipers because of the, li the three storage limit. So now that XB knows, XB is going to create a new uh, remover. The remover is also going to cycle through the possible files. 231 is the first one, and then they remove that back. And then he's going to cycle through and keep going. Now, the reason I say it's excessive is because XB is going to continue this process, cycling through the different channels, trying to uh, trying to remove any files. But since Mutex is dumb, he only drops his files in there into the two channels and then dips. He has no kind of like uh, he, he's purely offense a single time. So beating him is really not hard. And so you just uh, repeat the process over and over again. And you get the S plus ranking if you manage to win all 100 uh, like rounds of the battle. And that was my goal when I was doing these ones was trying to get the S plus ranking on all of them. So I'll show you how I managed to do those. Uh, but yeah, that is that was our first battle and Mutex got wrecked.